Hello. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. What did we do today? Got yelled at. Huh? I know, that's what I did this morning. What, what did I yell at you about? Everything. What do you mean everything? Did period Jenny attack? Yes. Period Jenny attacked. I'm, it's, I, it's not just because I'm on my period. I'm moody and frustrated about lots of different things. One being the fact that I've gained weight in the last, like, month or so. And that we've not been in the routine of the jogging anymore. So I found another 5K local that we wanted, I, I want us to do. We found a local 5K that we want to sign up for, but it's not until October. So we're going to get ourselves back in the routine of jogging, and we want to do that. And we want to beat our time. Brandon wants to do it in under 30, but it's on the trail that we're used to, and it's basically all flat, right? Yeah, like that's So it should be easier than the last one we did because it's not hilly. That's what killed me in the um, the last one we did, why I didn't do it in sub 30, I think. Because um, like later in the run when I got tired, the uphill parts I would just walk. I didn't. Granted, my jog is probably like the same speed as your walk. I didn't stop jogging. I just kept going. Still beat you by like four minutes. That's because you have such long strides. Yeah. You're faster than me. You're faster and you have longer legs. But, yeah. I'm pressure cooking beans. If the pressure ever comes up, I'll be pressure cooking beans. I've got it on high. Yeah. Because we're making quinoa, which I managed to scorch a little. Ah, uh, yep. We're making quinoa from the book. I really need to update our blog with the recipes that we've made. I need to go through all the picture files on my computer and find the ones for the recipes from the book and update it. And I also need to do the linky thing on the, on the vlog so that you can go forward and backward from one day to the next. Um, I don't know how to do them so they're in the corners, like CTFXC does, but I figured out how to do the video response way. So if you go down underneath where you go to make a comment, you'll be able to click from one day to the next. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start doing that uh, for all of our videos. But it's, it's time consuming. It's going to take me a while to go through all of them. So if you're new and you wanted to start watching from the beginning, it be, be make it easier on you to just be able to click the next day or the previous day. I know we have a couple of new people, or a couple of people that might have been watching us for a while but just started commenting, so. Either way. What are you... He's trying to cover his food. Because he doesn't want to eat anymore right now. And he doesn't want Blade to eat it on him. It's like, I still smell it. It's not hidden. It's not hidden good enough. Hey, hey, man, I'll hide your food for you. Look, look, I'm going to hide it. I'm going to hide it in the hole. Oh, I'm going to hide it in the hole. Or you can go get it if you want, okay? I hid your food in the hole. You want to go get it? Want to go in the hole and, and guard your food? Come on, let's go. Let's go guard your food. There you go. Now you can guard it. You can guard your food. <laughs> He's so cute. Want to tell him what he was doing? We caught him doing earlier? Humping your shoe. <laughs> no, that's not what I was talking about, and he wasn't humping my shoe. He was rubbing his head 
all over my shoe. But, um, no, he, he was climbing the bookshelf. He was in the bookshelf. I Instagrammed it. You should follow me on Instagram. It's yeah, follow follow him on Instagram to I see cute cat pictures. I don't remember what I would name I guess I think Dr. Rabbit MD. I think it is Dr. Rabbit MD. And you can find links to his pictures if you follow him on Twitter. So that's another way that you can find his Instagram. But I think it is Dr. Rabbit MD. I'd have an Instagram too, but I don't have a phone that I can do Instagram on. So I don't have it. But when I get an iPhone, I will get it. And you'll get plenty of cute cat pictures. And food pictures. I'm sure I'll take lots of food pictures. But Brandon's playing uh, baseball on the TV. On his Xbox. Yes. I'm playing minor league baseball. Minor league baseball. Akron Arrows versus the Harrisburg Senators. He's a nerd. But I'm gonna um wait for these uh, beans to cook, and then we're going to assemble our quinoa salad. And uh, in the meantime, I think I'm going to snack on some hummus. And I've got some red pepper uh, strips. Dip in hummus. And pretzels. We love pretzels and hummus lately. That was Brandon's idea. He has a good one every now and then. Right? Right. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry for being a raging hormonal bitch this morning about the whole jogging thing. Wasn't the, the daily vlog my idea? Maybe. I don't know. But, um, yeah, we did go for a jog. And then I took a shower when I came back. I That's why my hair is wet. I, I'm definitely the one that introduced you to the idea of daily vlogs. Because I, I introduced you to Shea Tarts and CTFXC. Yeah. But I'm not sure if you're the one that said let's do, let's do our own. No, wait, maybe it was you. Because you, you, you tried to do one by yourself. Yeah. But, um, I think I'm, I'm the one that was like, why can't we do that? Why shouldn't we do that? Why shouldn't we document our lives to be able to look back on later? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, anyone can do it. Anyone can document it. And it's not about the views. I, we like having an audience to be able to share our lives with, but it's also about documenting that for ourselves. So we can be able to go back and watch the vlog on think about things that were important to us at the time, things that really mattered, memories, and go back and see those. And yeah, we could have still pictures, but we don't take a lot of still pictures. We're very bad about taking still pictures, but we have been vlogging every day. But we can go back to Cinco de Mayo and we can watch that vlog about the 5K race. I think um, Tom Ska on his second channel, Dark Squidgy, just started a daily vlog. But like, just make a video daily, not necessarily filming his life, talking about his life, but just him talking really, really fast into a camera for a minute about whatever. That's another cool thing to do. But I like what we're doing better for us. You know what I mean? It's a good fit for us. I love you. I love you. So yeah, we've got a, we've got a lot of goals that we're going to try to reach. What I want to do is if I beat my time, I want to get some of those crazy shoes that look like feet. I'm sure uh, some of you guys have heard of them before. They've they've got they look like they look like feet. Your set, your toes are separated, and they're supposed to um, give you the sensation of running barefoot. And they're supposed to, supposed to help with your speed and your uh, alignment and um, take take uh, some of the impact take down like the impact that you feel when you're running and all kinds of different benefits are supposed to be. 
So I think that's what I want to do. So I have to save up some money. If I get a job, I can put some money aside and be able to splurge on something like that. But I, I won't just splurge on it. I have to feel like I've earned it. So I want to beat my time. I like this kid. Who's I'd like to do under 30, but I don't know if I can. I, I think um, 35 or under would be a more reasonable goal for me because I do run at a, I do jog, run, jog, whatever, at a slower pace than Brandon. So if his goal is under 30, I think my goal should be 35 or under. But I think just if I beat my time at all, I'll be happy. I like this kid who I got pitching for me in this game, my starter. Uh-huh. Um, but I don't think he's ever going to make it to the major leagues. This is fastball only. Like His fastest fastball he's thrown today was like 77, and his fastest pitch period only hit 80. Mm. But I think I'll keep, I think I'll hang on to him and keep him in my minors for a long time. Honey? I like him. Do you like to swim? Yeah. Do you like the bike? Yes. Do you like it enough that you think you'd ever want to do a try? Maybe. You should do a try. The swimming. I won't because I'm not comfortable enough with the uh, with the biking. The swimming would be the hardest part for me. Yeah. You should do it. You should do a try sometime. Maybe. Uh, eventually. Maybe you should put that on your 30 before 30 list that you that you uh never uh, actually made. Yay! Pressure cooker going. All right. I remember the first time you used that thing and you were so scared of it. Yes, I, I was. Now I actually like go. I, I actually aren't. I'm actually not scared to like turn off the stove and to move it, to move it to to take it off the burner and stuff. I was so scared of that thing. I thought it was. I thought there was like a little creature, like living in there, hissing at me. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye for now. Quinoa's done. Quinoa's done. Mm -hmm. Quinoa's done. You gonna try it? Okay. Try it. I wanna know what you think. You good? Mm. Yeah? Should I try mine? It's got lemon and garlic in it. Yep. It's good. Very good. You like? Yeah. All right. We're going to eat and we'll see you guys later. Bye for now. <laughs> He's pulling the food out of his bowl, one piece at a time, onto the carpet and then eating it. He scoops it up with his paw and then if he feels like he's going to drop it, he he grabs he grabs it with his paw. He puts his paw under his mouth. Like, "Oh, going to drop it." Lane, I love you. He doesn't even hear it. He doesn't even care that he has an audience. He's still doing it. <laughs> Do 
He's so cute. Hi. 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 You want more food? Yeah. Did daddy feed you really late today? You push everything, push your whole schedule back, didn't he? Yeah. You hungry? You hungry? You hungry? Pumpkin down, trying to steal other people's foods, other kitties' foods. You want some food? You can go hide under the bed again. You hungry? Mm. A little itty bitty meow. Your food, your bowl's under the under the bed. If I go to get your bowl, you're gonna run. We need to get you another bowl, don't we? You need two bowls, don't ya? Want your food? Want it? You want it? You gonna let me get your bowl? You gonna let me get your bowl or you gonna go hide? Don't look at our bedroom, it's awful. And he hid. Our bedroom is so messy, I'm not even gonna show you guys. Yeah, that's how bad it is. I'm not even gonna show you. It's bad. <laughs> but, um, I gotta get some dishes done. I did a little bit of vlog catch up. Not these two again. I'm I'm in June now for the for the vlog, so that's pretty good. I'm getting there, and um, I've got a lot of dishes to do. All of these here are clean, but have to be put away. And then all those need to be washed. And I've got a few pans on the floor. I had to set them on the floor because I didn't want to pile them up so high. I didn't want to break anything. Because I got, I got some bowls too. And strainers. Yeah, it, it's, it's messy. I also need to wash the pressure cooker. And that's, that's it. Um, I want to get them all done tonight, but I don't know if I will or not. But I am making I'm making some some progress. I need to tidy up tidy up down here and um I guess I'll give you guys an update when I'm done. Yeah. What are you laughing at? I was me and Jen were having the debate. I could put this in the sink. Uh-huh. About how Refried beans look and smell like dog food. No, they don't. And then I held the can. Prove it. Prove your point. Blade, smell like dog food? <laughs> Maybe it smells like cat food. But Blade thinks he's a dog. Well, yeah, Blade does think he's a dog. How long are we warm these things up for? Um, what did you throw on it? The rice, too? No. I like 30 seconds. If you throw the rice on it, put like 40 seconds. Yeah, I'll put some rice on it. Whatever. See, it's a good thing you told me that because if I don't, if I don't know. Well, the first time I didn't put the rice on until after because I had already heated the rice, but the rice has been sitting out for a little while now, so I did it together this time. If I'm just eating burritos. If I just do something on a whim, I pretty much default at like 90 seconds. Yeah, you probably would fry it if you did it for 90 seconds. Probably. So you want me to tell you why I have to get up relatively early tomorrow? Yeah. You didn't. You didn't see it on Facebook. No. I signed myself up for a free class at that uh, fitness center thing. I thought you said those were on Tuesdays. That's the weekly thing. I also get a free class because I've never been there before. Oh, that's tomorrow? That's tomorrow. What time is it at? 10 a.m. Not terrible, mm. but 
So you, you know. probably don't want to get up with me at five. Probably not. These golden bear lemonades are really good. If I get up with you at five, I'll be going back to sleep. But I set an alarm for nine. All I have to do is throw on my workout clothes and my shoes and whatever. And Walk on up. I'll probably eat something light for breakfast. If I have a little bit of energy. I need to buy more of those before they come off sale. They're on sale at the local grocery store, two for a dollar. That is not a bad price at all. No, not when they're that big. Too bad they got bee vomit in them. That means Jen can't have them. Isn't it great that he knows what it is, but he doesn't care? It's, uh, it just grows. Grows. <laughs> Brandon's in bed and I'm playing with the cats with a laser pointer. I think deep down Mittens knows I'm doing it. I don't think Pumpkin figured that out yet. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have to go to bed soon too because I have to get up relatively early tomorrow because I signed up for a class, a free class at the fitness center not too far from here. Um, I can actually walk there. It's, it's not far at all. So I'm a little nervous. I have to go to bed. Uh, pretty soon and get a good night's sleep and get up and do some uh, some workout I'm, I'm, I'm kind of nervous it's uh, I guess it's a beach body fit club it's called and it's like a different different uh, thing every every week or no that's the one I'm doing Tuesday this one is called uh, like Fit Fundamentals of Fitness or something. I don't know. Something like that. And I'm going to do an, another thing on Tuesday night there. The one on Tuesday is every week in three. And this one is because I've never been there before. And all new people get a free class. You have to um, you have to sign up and you have to give them your name and everything. So they know that you're you're new. So, to make sure that I have ID, because I'm probably going to ask to see my ID when I signed up on the class to make sure I'm the right, um, I'm the same person. And, uh, yeah. That should be fun and, uh, different. So, I don't think I'll be able to film anything in there, but I'll let you guys know how it goes. And, um, that's it for now. Good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.